Namde Kanu's lawyer condemns President Buhari's excesses. Aloy Ejimako, the special counsel to Biafran political activist Namde Kanu and the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOP sees the excesses of President Mohamed Buhari against the proscribed group has increased support for Biafran self-determination on news reports. Ejimako as well posited that the Nigerian government treatment of IPOP has deepened the quest for freedom. IPOP is a group canvassing for the succession of Eastern Nigeria. Ejimako aired its view via its known Twitter handle on Thursday. The further High Court in Apologia labelled IPOP as a Boko People organization on the 18th September 2017. Hypop have fought against this prescription and sought to reverse the court's decision in 2018. However, their attempt has ultimately been unsuccessful and they continue to be declared as Boko People Organization under the Nigerian Boko People Act. According to sources, the Nigerian state has utilized violent and excessive security force in order to silence pro Biafra movement. The latest is in October 2020, during which the Onyibo mayhem happened. These armed forces violence has been ongoing from 2014, first targeting IPO after its formation. Amnesty International released a report detailing that countless IPO protesters were killed between the 29th through 30th of May 2016 during a governmental operation wanting to prevent IPOP members marching from Mpo Motor Park to a rally. The Nigerian army claimed that they were acting in self-defense and that the death count lies at 5 instead of 50. These killings have not been investigated by Nigeria despite urging from Amnesty International. Human rights organizations have been keeping records of extrajudicial killings in Biafra. They claim that from August 2015 through February 2016, 170 unarmed civilians were killed and that 400 were arrested, charged or detained without a proper trial. Thank you for listening to this news. You see, my viewers, what mm -hmm. is giving me a lot of worries and pain concerning this, the attitude of President Momo Buhari and his ugly administration is that we have, we have people that are supposed to be proscribed. We have people that are supposed to be taken as Boko people, that are supposed to be tagged as, as proscribed people. They left those people aside and they focused on an armed group, an armed group, a group that doesn't that doesn't go out armed, that doesn't have any weapon or, or ammunition. They went and prescribed them. I tell you this, there is a reason for that. They did that because they are against the the the, 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 the agitation for Biafran actualization. They did that because they hate the move their friend is taking to actualize their freedom. They never wanted Biafran to be actualized. That has always been their pursuit. <laughs> but I laugh. I laugh because the federal government doesn't know how far, how far the Biafran has gone on this pursuit. I think the president is aware, but he's just pretending to the people. He doesn't want the people to know. He doesn't want them to know, but somehow, somehow they will know. You cannot hide it. You cannot hide it for life. They must know. They must know. It is certain. It is certain that they must know. You understand? So, my viewers, no matter what the president do, no matter how he tries it, I know that the people must know. Their Afran has been actualized. No matter what they do. See, 
The reason why they are just doing all these things, painting Biafran with all these kind of names, you know, proscribed group, terrorist group, Boko group, and all of that, is because they don't want Biafran to be actualized. See, despite how they try to be doing all of these things, yet international organizations never paid attention to all of their claims. Instead, all the petitions they have been submitting against Biafran keep falling into the water. International organization has never honored any of the petition, the petition, petition against Biafra. Instead, the one that Biafra has petitioned against them keep, keep, keep being accepted. The last one, you know, the kind of petition concerning the Nigerian government was accepted and that was what warranted the, the invitation of the, the inviting of President Mobari to the, to the panel. For questioning, ha! That is doing the NSAS protest. Yes, now. You understand? So, what are we saying? What are we saying? So, whether they like it or not, whether they like it or not, Biafran has come to stand. Nobody can deny it. Nobody. Nobody, I tell you, nobody, nobody can deny it. Worry. See, the, in fact, the best thing is for this country to, to, to divide. This country should just divide. Look at, everybody is now, is, is now, is now um, uh, 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 coming up with their individual, um, with their own uh, uh, um, agitation for freedom now. Look at um, the, the the Odudua Republic have have, 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 have woken up. The uh, the Benin, they say they have a republic too. They have woken up. Eh? Everybody is now. This country is about to be divided. Let it divide so that everybody will have its peace, and it go and go its own way. And go its own way. You understand? Because this is becoming too much. Comment so much. The, the president has not been doing well. He has not been meeting up. He has not been functioning. And you're telling me that, uh, 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 please, 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 my viewers, I would really appreciate it if you two can come into this matter. All right? Please, deem it free to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.